Stone, bronze, iron, every stage in the history of humanity has a material that defines and drives technological development. For us, that material is plastic. Plastic was invented in the 1930s, and since then, it has become the central commodity for manufacturing. All of our economy, our current production and consumption rates, result from the change that plastic made almost 100 years ago. But uh, a lot of things have happened since the 1930s. Today, we are suffering the consequences of overusing a material nature cannot assimilate. Also, we have new engineering fields, such as biotechnology, that require also new materials that are able to interact and integrate with natural systems. So, we need new materials. And something we often do when we need inspiration is to look for it in nature. Three years ago, we introduced a new concept in material science. Natural molecules and the way they are arranged in natural systems evolve parallelly. So if we want to fully explore the potential of natural materials in engineering, we need to follow the same principle. We can't just use a natural molecules. We need to find a way to arrange them in the design they are made for. And to crystallize this idea, we made a drill. Srilk is the artificial insect skin. It's made with the same components than the insect skin, and we have full control of the molecular organization. The result of that is a material that is light, is transparent, is fully biodegradable, but it's also extremely strong. It's as strong as aluminum alloys, but we have the density of the aluminum alloys. Actually, it's real proof that if we can match the right design with the right molecules, we can make outstanding materials with almost any natural resource, and we can do that in a sustainable way. But we didn't stop there. Since then, we have modified the material to adapt it to different uh, manufactured technologies. We have replicated several consumer products with it. We have even healed organs with, with, with this material. But we, have, we, we can go farther than that. We have realized that if we combine the results of these materials with the progress we are doing in additive manufacturing, we have all the ingredients for a great engineering breakaway. So a new time is starting, a exciting time is starting. This is the time when biology will diffuse and literally bring life to every other engineering field. And we are developing the materials for that. But also, this is the time when we learn from our mistakes with nature. So above all, this is the time when we can do the things right. So I'm Javier Fernandez from SUTD. <laughs>